Hey Christ United, Sheila Karsavar here. I don't know if you've ever seen the show called Hoarders. I watch it sometimes. I don't know why. I think I like seeing when people actually figure out why they collect so many things and then their life get cha gets changed around and family is able to come over again and they're just able to enjoy their life with all of that cleaned up, both inside and out, because you know we can clean up the outside, but if the problems are still there, then we would still go back to what we were doing. And so I enjoy that. I, I like seeing things that are cleaned up after. <laughs> and from Ecclesiastes today, in part of our reading, uh, People think that King Solomon is the one that wrote this when he was old in age. And King Solomon, I mean, he had everything. He had riches. He had more women than a thousand men could have in a lifetime. He uh, had just anything that he wanted and started out with great wisdom, of course. And um, so some think that he, he wrote this. And the titles are Everything is Meaningless. Pleasures are meaningless. Everything is meaningless. The things that I have worked for, I'm leaving behind for other people to enjoy. And they didn't even work for it. And I started thinking about that. And it goes on where, you know, our life's work, our um, efforts that we put into things, the things that we do, it's all meaningless unless God is the one who has appointed us to that. And if he is not involved in our choices, if he is not involved in the things that we're doing, if it's not his will, then it is pointless. It's meaningless. And the things that we're collecting and storing up, those are the things that are going to be left behind for somebody else to decide what to do with. And wouldn't it be great if we could leave behind people knowing Jesus, people knowing how much Jesus loves them, people knowing that God has a purpose for these people that we are in touch with. And when you get to Ephesians in today's reading, Ephesians 2 talks about how we were made and made alive in Christ. And, and Ephesians 2.10, it says, For we are God's workmanship, created in Christ Jesus to do good works, which God prepared in advance for us to do. He has a plan and a purpose for each one of us, this time, this day, right now. And he can share with us. He'll tell us what that is. He will lead us and guide us if we can get rid of the clutter that might be distracting us. And so, Heavenly Father, I thank you so much again for your word. I thank you for your, the truth that is in your word. I thank you that you are present which, with each one of us. Lord, all we need to do is call on your name. You will show us what you have planned for us, Lord. I just pray that we would be tied to your will. We want nothing more and nothing less than your will for us, Lord. And so I pray that you would give us opportunities today as we go out and about to share your love with other people, Lord. Please help us. We love you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Have a great day.